Motorola, one of its top competitors, is adding 5%. But one stock that could come under pressure is Boeing. Credential is cut is So you interview someone and they will give you a different story each time. He demanded his privacy. He was obsessive about it. And yet, yes. he had the people who work for him keep detailed records of right. every move he made from the time he ate to the time he went to the bathroom. Why? This is the, this is the story. He did not have that done. They did it to him. Last May, in a series called Week of Wishes, we asked our viewers to make a wish, big or small, and then we made those dreams come true for five lucky people. For those who were chosen, the magic has yet to wear off. The old Champions League and two in the new one. But that means nothing for this match. We're two big teams who won their national championships last year, and we both have really good players. $100 a week. So they're cost effective. Everything, once again, is included. And you have a blast, and there's activities all day long. Now, if you don't want Club Med, we can go to, um, yeah. we can go to some of the resorts in Jamaica. This just in, you were looking at, a, obviously, a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. CNN Center right now is just beginning to work on this story, obviously calling our sources and trying to figure out exactly what happened, but clearly something relatively devastating happening this morning there on the south end of the island of Manhattan. That is, once again, a picture of one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Well, you can see these pictures. It's obviously uh, something devastating has happened and again unconfirmed report that a plane has crashed into one of the towers there we are efforting more information on this subject as it becomes available to you right now we've got sean murtaugh he is a cnn producer on the telephone right now sean what can you tell us about what you know this is uh, sean murtaugh i just was uh, standing on the uh, uh, vice president of finance Sean, Vice President of Finance for CNN. Sean, we're on the air right now. What, what can you tell us about this situation? Hello? Yes, yeah, Sean, you're on the air yes, right yes. now. Uh, can, what can, go ahead. What can you tell us? I, I just witnessed a plane that appeared to be cruising uh, slightly lower than normal a altitude over New York City, and it appears to have crashed into, uh, I don't know which tower it is, but it hit directly in the middle of... Uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. We want to tell you what we know as we know it. Well, we just got a report in that there's been some sort of explosion at the World Trade Center in New York City. One report said, and we can't confirm any of this, that a plane may have hit one of the two towers of the World Trade Center. But again, you're seeing the live pictures here. We have no further details than that. We don't know anything about what they have concluded happened there this morning, but we're going to find out and, of course, make sure that everybody knows on the air. These are, of course, the two twin Trade Center buildings that are down at the foot of Manhattan, that they really are the beacons of New York. It was there that there was the explosion a couple of years ago uh, brought about by terrorists. We, that's all gone through the courts, but this, we don't know anything about, we don't know about anything that has happened here other than the fact that there's obviously been a major incident there, and we're going to go to a special report now from ABC News. My vantage point, whether it has come out the other side. Sean, what about uh, on the ground or any debris that has hit down there? Can my, you see my vantage point is too far from the World Trade Center to right. make any uh, determination of that. Did you see any smoke, any flames coming out of the engines of that plane? No, I did not. The, the plane just uh, was was uh, coming in low, and the t wing tip tilted back and forth, and then. It It's 8.52 here in New York. I'm Brian Gumbel. We understand that there has been a plane crash on the uh, southern tip of Manhattan. You're looking at the uh, World Trade Center. We're going to go to a picture, a live picture from New York City. Apparently, a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center in New York. 8.52 with limited information at this point. We don't know about injuries uh, in the building or people on the ground, but obviously this has potential for, for, for being a, a major uh, disaster here. Look at that. Now, you remember there's two World Trade Centers. What we're seeing there is the apparent impact of the plane. It would look uh, to be on the upper 10 or so stories of this, I believe it's a 110 story building of the south. It looks like the south of the two uh, towers there in the Wall Street area of New York City. It's incredible pictures right there. Right. And we should point out, of course, that the World Trade Center was the target of that uh, bombing several years ago. So this is a, a, an area that has had its share of problems. We don't know yet whether this was an accident, some sort of 
planned incident. We, uh, we just want to show you this picture here, and we are trying to get some information about exactly what happened. We, we don't know uh, what happened, but we, we are being told. As Matt just mentioned, we have a breaking news story to tell you about. Apparently, a plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center here in New York City. It happened just a few moments ago, apparently. We have very little information available at this point in time. But on the phone, we do have Jennifer Oberstein, who apparently witnessed this event. Jennifer, can you hear me? Hello? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Katie. Hi. Can you please tell me what you saw and give me any information about what's going on there? Yes. I have to tell you, um, it's, it's quite terrifying. I'm in shock right now. I came out of the subway at Bowling Green. I was heading to work in Battery Park at the Ritz Carlton Hotel, and I come out and it, I saw a big. I heard a boom, looked up, and there was a big ball of fire. I'm now looking north at the World Trade Center, and it is the West Twin Tower. If I'm looking north, I'm in Battery Park right now, and you can hear the fire engines and the emergency and emergency crews behind me. And it is unbelievable when the fire first burst. It was a hello. Go ahead. We can hear you. And we're uh, getting reports of a plane crash in the World Trade Center in New York. You can see the pictures there. It's one of New York's tallest buildings. That's all the information we know at the moment. But as you can see, it is a considerable collision, and there is a large fire. That's all the information we have at the moment. But we'll be back with more details in just a short while at the top of the hour. Undue speculation, but the sound itself was not of a prop plane. It was perhaps a jet, but it could have been a missile as well. Can you give me? Was it was it a whining sound, Don, or what? Yes, it was a, it was a, uh, how to describe it? It was a high pitched, but it had a, 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 a whooshing sound, not, not like a prop plane. Huh. And you didn't see anything actually in the air? No, I wasn't looking out, but we looked out immediately. You can see quite a lot of damage. Uh, it, if it was a, an airplane, it had to be huge because it hit way up in the World Trade Center. It, I would say it's probably, uh, probably a good five, six of the way up to the top. Mm. There's a considerable amount of flame. There's damage on two sides that I can see. On the very north-facing side, there's where looks like is the largest amount of damage. There's a gigantic hole that encompasses a number of floors. Jean, I would say maybe. What can you tell us about what you saw? Uh, I can tell you that I was watching TV and there was this uh, sonic boom and the TV went out and thought maybe that the Concorde was back in service because uh, I've heard about those sonic booms and I got up to my window. I live in Battery Park City right next to the Twin Towers and I looked up and the side of the World Trade Center exploded right when I looked up and uh, at that point debris started falling. I couldn't believe what I was watching. Can you hear anything from your position right now? Ambulances, sirens? Absolutely, positively. There are crowds of people downstairs in Battery Park City. Everybody's come out from the buildings. This is the financial area in Wall, you know, in uh, Manhattan and there's a lot of fire engines. Uh, I can see them from my window. Jean, can you tell us, uh, I don't know if you can tell which tower it is uh, that's on fire right now or, or the kinds of services that are inside that tower? I can't tell what's inside. Uh, it's the northern tower uh, versus the southern tower, and it seems to be on all sides of the building, uh, from what I can tell. Uh, the uh, west side, the south side, and the north side. Jennifer, can you tell us a little bit more about what you heard when you heard this explosion? Describe it for us. Absolutely. When I uh, walked out of the subway, I looked at the Twin Towers because. I mean, I just always look up there, and uh, right when I looked up, there was a boom. It wasn't, it wasn't that loud. Like, it wasn't huge. However, what was unbelievable was the amount of fire. It was a big ball of fire that just went up. And, and I, looked, I looked around at people. We were all horrified. I, I, I'm stuttering because I'm, I'm in such shock. I've never seen anything like it. It's just horrible. And of course, this is real cause for concern because the World Trade Center is one of the busiest office buildings here in New York with hundreds, perhaps thousands of, of workers who... The New York who, State Governor has his office, oh, New York right. City office, though. Several and so, thousand And of workers. course, given the time that this has happened, uh, it's only probably appropriate to surmise that people what might well, what I, I heard first, an explosion, and I just figured that it was a plane passing by. Then all of a sudden, stuff just started falling, like bricks and paper and everything 
And so I just kind of like ran like inside to get away from the falling debris and glass and so forth. Then after like everything stopped because it like was falling in the street and the cars were crashing through each other. Then when it kind of stopped, I heard a guy screaming. And when I looked over, there was this guy that was on fire. So I kind of like ran over and I tried to like put the fire out on him. And he was, he was like screaming and I just told him to roll, roll. And he said he can't. And then another guy came over with his uh, bag and kind of like put the, fl the flames out on him. So right now um, he's being taken care of. I just had everyone call the ambulance and stuff so it can help him out. He caught fire as a result of the falling debris? Yeah. Um, how much debris, can you give us an idea of how much came oh, crashing man. to the ground? It's just a lot. Um, bricks, a lot of bricks, a lot of glass. Um, I'm like enough to like damage cars on the street, make cars swerve into each other, that kind of thing. Any other people on the ground that you saw? No, just hurt. Just him so far. Um, I would say at any given time, you're talking about maybe 20 or 30 people at best. Uh, we were talking with Sean Murtaugh earlier, and he said this is not normally an area where you would see some sort of aircraft. Uh, certainly, obviously, that low, but in that that is not a high traffic uh, area in terms of flights. Uh, I don't know about flights, you know, uh, I have a balcony down here in Battery Park City and they have that needle sticking out of the top of the World Trade Center and I've always wondered, you know, uh, if anyone would kind of get too close to the building, uh, you know, and, and accidentally veer into it. Accidental, we know so little now other than what we can see from these pictures. But the interesting point is there are a number of small airports around New York uh, where uh, passenger uh, uh, corporate jets or private jets uh, will land and take off. And it's not uncommon, if you have ever visited the World Trade Center, when you go up to the observation platforms at the top, uh, you can look down on airplanes that are either coming in for landings or taking off uh, from New York airports. But all pilots who fly in this area know very well where the World Trade Center is located. All the routes are very far or comfortably far away from the two towers. And not just private planes, too, because with some winds and some directions, even out of the big commercial airports, planes are routed quite close to New York. I've flown in from LaGuardia, even into LaGuardia, but having to go right by the World Trade Centers. But we emphasize this is all speculative at this point. And just to reset for all of you, this is a special report from ABC News. And we are dealing, and we have to underline this, we are dealing purely in the realm of speculation here as to what may have happened at the World Trade Center. Obviously, a major incident occurred here on the upper floors of one of the World Trade Center towers. You can see multiple openings and flames coming out of at least two sides of the tower at the World Trade Center. And we just got a report that the Associated Press is now reporting that it was an aircraft. Well, I live in this area. I've returned to my apartment, but I was walking down the sidewalk delivering my young daughter to school, and uh, we heard a very loud um, sound, the kind of sound you hear when a plane is, is um, you know, going fast past you, followed by an enormous crash um, and an immediate explosion. Um, I don't think we could feel shockwaves, but we, we sort of felt like we did. And we were in a position where we could see um, the Trade Center almost immediately between the other buildings. Um, and an enormous fireball that must have been 300 feet across was visible immediately. Um, a secondary explosion, I think, and then plumes of smoke. I must be, there must have been a three-block cloud of, of white smoke. Now, from where I was on the street a moment ago, you can, in fact, see smoke leaving the building on three sides. It seems to be coming out on at least four or five floors. Um, the air is filled with hundreds of thousands of pieces of paper that are just sort of floating like confetti. Um, the area is swarmed with emergency vehicles um, and sirens. Have you Obviously, seen we're very sensitive to this kind of thing in this neighborhood. Elliot, have you, of course, because of the incident that occurred in the early 1990s, have you seen any any evidence, Elliot, of, of people being taken out of the building? Uh, you say that emergency vehicles are there, understandably so, but of course the major concern is human oh loss. I mean, do you know if there were many people in the building? Oh, another time? one just hit. Something else just hit. A very large plane just oh. flew directly over my building and there's been another collision. Can you see it? I yes. can yes. see it on the shot. Oh my. Something we, else has just... You know just, what? We that just saw like a plane circling the building. We just saw a plane circling the building.